Hey guys, it's Shahid here with uh, another tutorial on Java and in this one we're going to be dealing with inputs. So the first thing you're going to want to do is import java.util.star and what this does right here is it it's taking a package from what we call the Java API which is this thing right here and you can find this by just going to Google and typing in Java API uh, edition 6 and basically what this is is a bunch of classes Java has created for you that you can use so we won't get into too much about creating classes and stuff right now but this is what we're gonna do so pretty much right here it's gonna say java.util.scanner and right here we put java.util.star what the star means is that we're, in we're importing everything from the util package right so there are one, um, more than one classes that we have imported, but we don't have to necessarily use them. So what a scanner object does is it takes the input that someone writes into the console down here, and it reads that, and you can use the input that they're saying, and you can use it in your code. It's very handy, you know. It's basic, and you know it, it's great to use, and it's fun to use. So the first thing you're going to want to do is now that you've imported the classes is type in scanner you can type in whatever you want to put here this is your variable this is what we're going to call the scanner so you can put uh, whatever you want you can put x y but I like to put input since that's necessarily what it's doing and I put new scanner and then system dot in alright so what we're doing here is we're saying input is of type scanner and we're creating a new scanner object I'm not going to talk about this too much right here but basically this is just the parameters but all you need to know right now is we're creating an object called input all right? and it's of type scanner so now that we've got input we can just type in let's say let's say we want to figure out someone's name so let's type in system.out.println hi what is your name? I'm just going to put a semicolon there. And now to figure out what their name is, you're going to have to declare a variable. Now why we do this is so that we're going to have to store whatever they put into a variable. So string um, name equals input dot next and we're just going to put a two open and close brackets and we're going to put that there. Now the reason we put next is so that it recognizes that it's a string that's being put and it's going to be on the same line which is why there's no line there. You could also put line but sometimes that shows up with uh, some anomaly errors and we're not going to be doing that right now. We're just going to use next because it's uh, a little simpler to use. So let's just go run this and just press OK and it's going to say hi what is your name so just click on the console and type in let's say Frederick and as you can see the program terminated right after it got it and the variable Frederick was stored in name alright so now let's say system dot out dot print ah, sorry print ln um, what is your last name just gonna put a little semicolon there and type string last name equals input dot next and notice that I um, put the second word as a capital at the beginning this is just known as coding convention um, you always put the second word if it's attached to another word as a capital all right and you cannot put spaces between your variables you can only put underscores and yeah and now we're going to put system.out.println your full name is and then notice the space or notice the colon and then the space because we want to have a little space it's eye pleasing you're going to put plus because you're putting a variable there name and then you're going to put a little space you're going to put last name. Alright? 
So let's make sure this works. Hi, what is your name? Shahid. And I'll put a random last name, Bob. And your full name is Shahid Bob. Right, so that's pretty much how you do that. Now, as I said, this is not the only way you can do this. There's other types of scanners, so, but this is the easiest one we're going to be going over. So, yeah. Now I'm just going to show you how to do this with a couple other types of variables or data types. So let's say, what is your age? I'm just going to put a little semicolon there. We're going to put, remember we have to declare the variable. Int, that's going to be storing it. Int x equal, or int age, because we always want to declare variables, the names, as something that's relevant to the actual variable that it is. So in larger programs, we know exactly what's going on and what that variable is. Input dot next. Now I know you guys are going to think that should be it, but we're actually going to put int. All right, and notice that this is in a capital. I'll go over a little more why it's in capitals a little bit later, but just notice that. And let's put system dot out dot print ln. How much do you weigh? Let's put a little semicolon there. And then just to show you a couple different things, put double weight. Yes, I do realize that's spelled incorrectly. <laughs> and then we're just gonna put weight equals input dot next and then double but with a capital D right now I know you're thinking to yourself well why isn't this integer instead of int well in Java we refer to integers as ints and not the full name right so let's just go system dot out dot print ln and you know what just let's just put in the variables age plus a nice little space and then we'll put in wait. And let's run this. 40. And just to show you something, we're going to put 50 there too. Alright. Now what it did right here, is it says what is your age? And we said input.nextInt. So it read it as this. Then we said how much do you weigh? Wow, I spelled that wrong. Um, and it said input.next double. So what was the next double that it read? 50. Alright, so just a couple things to catch right there. Another thing we that's possibly a problem is 40 and then 50 and then the space and 60. It's only going to read 50 since we said the next double. So the first thing that it sees is 50. Remember, just like in the English language, it reads left to right. Alright, so that's pretty much all that I have to show you there. Next int, so make sure you cap capture that. And that's pretty much the scanner object. So just to give you a little practice, we're gonna I want you guys to go create a little program that asks people for the name, age, and weight, and you know the full name, and maybe you can post your code as a comment on one of my videos. Just post the entire code, um, just from like top to bottom kind of thing. And if you want to, just post the console output to to make sure I got you to make sure I know that you got it right. I can also look through it. And if you're having any troubles doing that, just message me on YouTube and I'll be able to help. So just a reminder, you always type in import java.util.star, then you go scanner, whatever you want to call it. So let's call it something different. Equals new scanner system dot in. All right, guys. And what I want you guys to do for a little project homework thing is just ask people for their name, weight, and age, and print it out. All right. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.